in range. Um, on number one, it asks us to plot each of the following points on the graph below, then determine which points are in the solution. Okay, so these points have actually been graphed for you. Um, it's a little bit dark, so you can't see some of them. But here's A, B, C, and D. So if you will remember, in order for it to be a solution, it has to be within the shaded region. So automatically you can tell that D is in the shaded region. So D is one of your answers. Now let's go talk about a few of the others. Well, A and C definitely are not inside the shaded region, so it can't be A or C. Now, B is on the line. So if you're looking at this, this line is a solid line and it includes that point. So because it includes anything that's on this line, this is a solution. Now, this is a little different from what your teachers have may have, may have shown you. Um, not asking you to believe in anything. I'm just asking in general, where do they say um, God and devil, God and the devil are? God's above, the devil's below. So if you'll look, this creates a D for devil. This creates a D for devil. This creates a G for God. This creates a G for God. So when you see this, this is shading above. This is shading below. And again, I'm not asking you any beliefs. I'm not trying to enforce anything or force anything on you. This is just in general terms. This is where they, they say they are. So if you look on this point right here, in order to get to the shaded region, I have to go up or above. So I need one of these two. Now the difference between the two is the solid line versus the dotted line. Since this is a solid line, I need the line underneath. Because if there's not a line, part of your line is missing, kind of like this one right here. But we'll go into this one a little bit later. So the inequality that we're going to need is greater than or equal to. Now your y-intercept is your b. So if you'll remember, your equation of your line is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So our y-intercept is... Three. Our slope, we have to go find another point that's on here. So if you look, I'm going down one, two, three units. And I'm going over one, two, three, four units. Now this is a positive slope. How do I know that? If you guys don't know, uh, your mountaintop, this from left to right, is going up so it's positive from left to, from left to right it's going down it's negative so that's a negative slope so this is a positive slope so three fourths is okay so I'm gonna write y greater than or equal to three fourths x plus three and that's your inequality that you want to write okay on this one um, if you look, these points are exactly the same as these that we graphed on here. So I'm going to kind of look on the other graph and I'm going to say here's A, here's B, here's D, and there's C. So again, which ones are part of the solution? Anything inside the shaded, re shaded region has to be part of the solution. Now here, um, this line is the same as this line. It's, I mean, they're plotted the same way. Um, it just, your inequality changes. So where it's shaded has changed. Here it's shaded abo above, here it's shaded below. Uh, but your line is the same. So I still have three fourths for the slope and three for the B.
So now I'm going to say y. I'm going to leave some room for my inequality. Okay, so if I go to the y-intercept, in order to get to the shaded region, I have to go below. Again, where's below? It's either one of these two. Because part of the line is missing, I need this one without the line underneath. So that all that means is if it's on the line, it does not include. So the key the key differences on these two is above below where it's shaded. The solid line versus the dotted line. Again, if it's on the line, it's part of the solution. If it's a dotted line and it's on the line, it's not part of the solution. All right, so C is asking us to graph the solution set for the inequality 3x minus y less than negative 2. You guys know this. Move the x, change the sign, divide by the number in front of the y. Don't forget to simplify. Okay, so we're going to move the x, change the sign. All right, so now we're going to divide by what number? A negative 1. Remember, if there's not a number there, there's an imaginary one. If we are dividing by a negative, y'all should remember that this sign will flip. Because we divided by a ne negative, we flip. Some of, some of y'all may have heard stop, drop, flip. Um, so we're stopping, we're dropping, and we're flipping the sign. All right, so y, some of you guys like to write the x first. Some of y'all don't. I'm just going to write it to where the x is first. So this is a positive 3x. This is a positive 2. So my m is 3 or technically it's 3 over 1. And my b is 2. So my y-intercept is 2. So I'm going to start with the y-intercept. Now remember, the more points you have on a graph, the more accurate it'll be. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3 over 1. Now I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3 over 1. Down 1, 2, 3 over 1. And I could actually go one more. 1, 2, 3 over 1. There's a line missing. So part of my line when I draw it will be missing. Now if you'll remember, this means that if there's an... Um, a point on this line it does not include the solution set okay so this is where some of y'all have hard, had a hard time despite uh, me talking about this already how do I tell whether there's shade above or below okay so this would create the G which means I want to shade above I have to go to the y-intercept the y-intercept is 2 I need to go above 2 so that's this region so anything inside this region is where I need to shade. So when it says identify a solution to the inequality, anything within this shaded region is an equa or is a solution. So I'm going to pick this point right here, which happens to be negative 4, 0. And I could have picked anything inside of there. Okay, so that's inequalities. So I tried to make it to where you could see all this at once. Alright, so we're going to write slope intercept form, which you should know is y equals mx plus b. We need standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. And then you also need um, point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And we'll get into all this in very good detail. 
Okay, so we have a graph. The easiest thing to do from this graph is to create the table. So this ordered pair right here is negative 1, 7. The next one is 0, 5, 1, 3, 2, sorry, 2, 1, and 3, negative 1. Again, all I did was find out these ordered pairs. Alright, now, I should know that my y-intercept is 5, so there's my y-intercept. So I know that my b is equal to 5. Now I need to pick another point, any point on this graph. So I'm going to use this one and this one. I could have used any two of these five points, any of them. But I chose these two. Okay, so I'm going to go down 1, 2, over 1. So those of you that have me, you need to remember that this is rise over run. Where I misspelled rise so that you know that the Y goes on top. So we rose, actually we fell 2. And we went over 1. And y'all should have known that this was a negative slope because of the way it was facing. So our equation of this line is negative 2x plus 5. Why is it negative 2? Some of you guys are asking. Because negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2. Okay, so if you look at the this part where it asks us to write in standard form, what it wants you to do is it wants you to make sure that your x and your y are on the same side. So if you look here, in order to get this x on this side, I have to move it. So like before, normally we, we want to get y by itself. Well, this time we want to get that 2x to that same side is, as the y. So essentially, I'm moving this and we're changing its sign. So, so that you guys can follow me. I'm basically moving this and bringing it over here and I'm changing its sign. So I have 2x plus y equals 5. And there's our answer. And then our last one, we need our m, our x1, and our y1. So our m is negative 2, and we know that because of up here. I can pick any five of these points. What they'll do sometimes is they'll they'll give you the equation in multiple choice, and you got to make sure that you're using the numbers that it's using as well. So I'm going to use the numbers uh, negative negative one and seven. So now I'm just plugging in y minus y one is seven. M is negative two. X is negative one. It's important that you do minus a negative. Well, minus a negative, some of you guys are saying is positive, which would be true. And then we box our answer because all it wants is point slope form.